Okay, so I am re-recording another section because my uh, uh, recording device crashed. So I'm going to be recording this, and hopefully it won't crash again. If it crashes again, I'm just going to give up for today because my voice is getting really tired. But uh, let's see what happens. Well, I know what happens, but you guys don't. I didn't look behind me to see if he's following. That would slow me down. I have to get to the cafe. I just have to run like I'm being chased, even if I'm not. Ping, I hear a sharp noise behind me like a metal bat hitting a home run. My foot gets stuck on what I don't know. But it's on the but it hits the ground and stays there. The force knocks me over and the sound effect is really loud and twists my ankle in a way that shocks pain out my leg. I'm seeing stars and I want to crawl away, but I can't. I gotta speak to Graves about your manners. Didn't even excuse yourself. What a rude little kitten. I look down. My foot is covered in rust. Rust? His movement is molasses, like he is enjoying a stroll through the park. I crane my head over my shoulder to see him, but it's hard from this angle. If you'd be, if you'd have been polite, we wouldn't need to fight. Didn't want to hurt you, kitten. I only need a couple of answers. But if you want to do, I ain't gonna complain. Promise you won't run away, yeah? I won't play dirty if you don't. I don't think I could break this rust without breaking my ankle off. It feels like it's already broken. Tears sting my eyes. I can barely use my magic to make trash sculptures. How am I supposed to use it to fight? I'm doomed. You haven't changed the bit, Noct. Still pushing around the weak to excuse your own malfeasance. I've never been so happy to hear my boss's voice, right? Graves! Graves will know what to do. I know it. Ha, ha, ha. I give this guy a laugh. He's got a laugh like ha, ha, ha. And there you and here you come acting like you ain't got anything to do with it. Gonna get me all nostalgic, old man. Out from out of nowhere Grace is already next to me. He kneels down and places a hand on my foot. What's he holding? Are you hurt? Don't move, this may burn a little. A sensation washes over my foot like stepping in a puddle of battery acid. Okay. That, that, how do you know what that feels like? Well, maybe that's a bit extreme. It burns, but it doesn't hurt. I feel like if you stepped in battery acid, it would hurt and burn. I don't know, though. I had no experience with that. The rust crumbles to dust and I'm free. I flex my ankle. It doesn't feel great, but I can at least put weight on it now. Graves stands between me and Noct. With a flourish that only Graves could accomplish, he pulls a sword from his cane. Sword cane! Oh yeah, what a perfect weapon for him. Noct shoves his hands in his pockets and rests on his metal bat like a cane. Just standing there, waiting. How are you now? Can you move unassisted? Yeah, thanks. Who is that? If you'll recall the bike in the alley? I'd almost forgot. The one that was rusted over? The one that Graves told me not to touch? This was why? Meet the source of our collective woes. Oh, come on now. And after all we've been through together. Making a gross tongue sticking out face. Avery. I don't imagine this will end well. I have a favor to ask. Whatever you need, boss. He drops the cane... He drops the cane sheath and takes my hand. His eyes are fierce, fire and ice, staring into mine. I feel like I shouldn't blink. Which, but which eye are you staring at? We need to know. I give it to you. All of it. Take care of it for me, Avery. And the other guy's just gonna stand there while we do this? It? What? All of what? Everything. Everything of mine. You'll understand. Now go, as fast as you can. Go to the cafe. You'll be safe there. What was this all about? I didn't feel any different. Why are you dawdling? Go! Now, I, I've actually played through this little section like three times. Um, if I, you stay and help him, you both die and you get a bad ending. So you have to run away. I know, I was disappointed too because stay and help is like my first instinct. I'm like, fuck no, I'm not leaving you alone. But I gotta run. Don't worry, kitten. I'll catch up. Ha! Nox's words haunt me as I run best I can on my sore ankle. It hurts with every step, but I can't stop. Hayes, I've got to find Hayes. I need his help just as much as he needed mine. I just hope I can keep running in this foot before it balloons up or the pain gets to be too much. 
It's a few blocks later when I remember I have a cell phone, and so does Hayes, and I have his number. Genius. I grab the phone from my pocket and mash the buttons as best I can, nearly calling my parents in the process. This is the last thing they need to hear from me. This? This is the last thing they would expect to hear from you, probably. There's a rust mage chasing me. My boss is fighting him right now. But still, I managed to get Hayes' number pulled up. The phone rings. I hope he's not in the shower yet. Pick up, pick up! I know you hate talking on the phone, but this is an emergency. Trying to communicate that via, via telepathy doesn't work, unsurprisingly. Uh, Avery? Hello? Oh, surprise! Maybe it does. Hayes! Hayes, watch out! There's some wild rogue witch on the loose, and he attacked me, and Graves, and Graves is... It's bad, Hayes. I don't know what to do. Help me. Oh man, I think he's following me. I don't know. Avery! Avery, calm down. Deep breaths. Remember, like you told me. Meet me in the cafe. I'll deep breath there. Ah, uh, okay. I mash the phone screen again, hopefully to hang up and shove the phone in my pocket. I want to cry in relief when I see the cafe come into view. Consider this another reason I'm glad I don't live far from work. I throw myself against the door and jam the key into the lock. It's hard to make sure I have the right key when I'm looking to see if I'm followed, but I manage. The lock clicks and my body weight swings the door open. I tumble, in the, I tumble to the floor and kick it shut with my good foot. My lungs are on fire. My brain is fire. Cat's like, what's going on? I hear the door fling open behind me. I shriek. Avery. Oh, no, Avery. And then Hayes is by my side, pulling me close. Remember to breathe. It's, it's going to be okay. It's, um... I cling to him, wrapping my hand in his hair. I'm okay now, okay? We're both okay. But, Avery, are you hurt? I, that's not... If I gotta take deep breaths, you do too. Just breathe. Ah. Sorry, I'm not much comfort if I get anxious too. I don't know what to do. Uh, and uh, here I pause to tell you all about myself a little bit um, when I played through this the first time and that I do have anxiety but uh, it switches like a flip gets switched if other people are really stressed out I become really calm and really efficient and I just get shit done so like if, if everybody's calm I can freak out but if everybody's freaking out I am always super calm so I bet you he's the same way I just don't want to be alone that's all I need. Just give me a minute like this, and then we'll deal with everything else. I can do that. He pulls me closer, and I feel at least a little bit better. I hope he does, too. Maybe if we just huddle on each other long enough, this knocked guy will give up and go away. Can you tell what happened? I do the best to explain the situation to him. I feel his grip on me tighten. I can't see his face from here. Is he scared? Angry? I should have walked you home. Huh? If he's going to hurt Graves like that, I won't forgive him. His voice is clear, level, and low. Oh, he's mad. I pull back. There's fire in his eyes I've never seen. Ooh, sexy. Don't worry about it. I think I just I think we just need to escape. Maybe he got what he wanted. I don't know. It doesn't sound like it. There's a noise at the door and we both freeze. He's here. Stay here. I'll take care of this. Dude, you weigh two pounds soaking wet. No, no, it's okay. I'll get it. Holy crap. Now that we've got a few minutes to let everything catch up, my ankle hurts like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies open before I have a chance. I ready myself to fight a murderer armed with a bat, but it's... Finley! I'm gonna save again real quick right away. You guys! Oh my god! The curse! She grabs my hands and does a little dance, but stops when I wince in pain. Oh, sorry, sweetie. You okay? Did you, did you twist your ankle? Yeah. What's this about the curse? It's broken! We're all humans again! Of course, I'll miss my jelly donut fame, but I'll live. Oh, I'll start a new vlog. I... What's wrong? You look real messed up about it. It's Graves. The curse must have broken because something happened to him. Graves? What happened? Where is he? And suddenly everyone is there. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. This should this should be good news, but... Oh, Reese. It's bad. He's still out there, I think. Still out where? 
He lunges, but Mason intercedes. Stop. She's injured. What happened to him? You have to tell me what happened. Someone attacked us. I have no idea who he was, but he had a grudge against Graves. His name was Noct, I think. I don't know who that is. What happened then? This Noct guy? I, I think he beat Graves. Reese clutches his chest and looks like he might fall over and pass out. I reach out to ease him to a seat, but he swats me away. I knew it! I knew he was going to get in over his head. I knew another witch was on his tail, but he told me to stay out of it. Damn it, I could have helped. Why didn't he let me help? Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Beating on furniture isn't going to do anything, but if it helps him feel better, get his anger out. He's got some anger. He sinks his fingers into the cushion and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he's got. I feel real bad for all his blustering. Reese admired Graves a lot. I think he was one of the only one of us who did. I guess now, after Graves saved me like that, I kind of do too. Too little, too late, I suppose. So, now what happens? What, what do we do? We avenge him. Of course. We kill Noct. Whoa, whoa! That's a bit extreme. All's fair in a duel. If that's what this guy wants, that's what he gets. When he comes for the cafe, I'll take it back from him. Comes for the cafe? Why would he do that? When a witch defeats another in a duel, they take the other's property. But, but he'll have to beat me to get it. Is Graves really dead? I don't know. If Nox's intent was to kill if Nox's intent was to kill him. Damn it. Now Landry's the one who looks pissed. It's kind of scary. I've never seen him do anything but laugh and smile before, so it's almost jarring to see Reese cry. As almost as jarring as seeing Reese cry. Magic is a scourge. This always happens when you get too close. How would you know? Reese's head snaps up. What do you know about magic? Exactly. You haven't studied. But I thought... All eyes turn to Hayes and he clams up. I put my hand into his and give it a little reassuring squeeze. He gives me a smile and his shoulders soften. Yeah? I didn't think Graves was really in on all of this. I sort of thought he was some eccentric old guy who got caught up in things. Of course he's in on it. He's the strongest witch in the city. Well, was. Nice job. I immediately regret saying that when Reese shoots me a furious, glossy-eyed glare. This feels so surreal. I thought magic was more gentle than this. Is this what magic is really like? Bad enough to, um, dispose of graves. Of course it is. How else would this be happening? But it's too strong to get... But he was too strong to get cursed. That part was just us. But he wasn't too strong to not curse us. Does that matter now? He's gone. And this Noct is going to be here and to take everything else too. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from the chair and storms to the door. He puts a hand in his pocket like he's concealing a weapon. How would he just take the cafe? It's not, that's not how property works. There are deeds and stuff. Not that I know much about, much more about it than that, but I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their house. You don't know. Maybe they did. You seem to have magic. Maybe they're magic. Of course, it's more complicated. I didn't exactly have time to explain, I don't exactly have time to explain witch territories. Just know that when, you def when you're defeated in a duel, you give your property to the winner. So unless Graves gave, away, gave it away right before the fight, conveniently, which Noct totally let him do, Noct owns this cafe now. I remember Graves grabbing my hand and staring through me. I remember his words. I think he did. What? Before he fought, before he told me to run away, he told me that he gave everything to me. You? Why you? You're a newborn baby stumbling through the witching world. That's not fair. You can't handle it. Handle it. Hayes squeezes my hand. This time I'm the one comforted by his gentle strength like a low flame. I can sure as hell try. I'm going to have a drink of water. 
These scenes are tough because there's so many characters with so many voices, and they're all really upset, so they're all really loud and angry. And my voice is getting very tired. The things I do for you people, all three of you who probably are going to watch this. I don't know what I can do, but I'm here with you, Avery. You sweet darling boy. Well, do whatever you want. I'm going to get graves. Not by yourself, you, do you aren't. Better wait for me. This isn't your concern. It absolutely is. He's my boss, too. But someone should stay behind and watch the cafe. And Avery. That's why I'm here. And me! Oh, actually, I should go get Mochi. I'm worried about him being left alone at my place. Knocked knows where I live. Who's to say he won't hold my cat hostage? That'd be really random of him to do, but okay. In that case, worry not, because Team Finley and Hayes are going to go re on a rescue mission. Hey, let's go, Hayes. I'd rather not leave Avery if that's okay. I know some first aid so I can at least make myself useful and patch up her ankle. Hmm. Yeah, gotcha. I can work with that. Guys, I'm just a screwed up kid. You don't have to do this for me. Of course we do. Yeah, you're our screwed up kid. We'll stick together through thick and thin, us cursed cats. Tears of gratitude sting my eyes. I never thought I'd have folks like this who'd endanger themselves for me. My high school friends would have run the moment someone said curse. Because my high school friends were afraid of the word curse. They were really weird. They had, they had some issues. I love these guys. I vigorously scrub my face. Don't want to get too mushy. I hobble back to the couch. Okay, we can do this, right? Yeah! Promise me nobody's gonna get hurt, okay? Please. Give us more credit than that. We're just a bunch of novice witches, half of us don't know magic, and we were up until recently cats. Yeah! This guy will be sorry he underestimated us. We enact our plans. Reese, Landry, and Finley all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanishes into the bathroom for the first aid kit. Ah, that's really annoying on my headphones. Mason dips into the kitchen. I hear a horrific screeching noise like metal against linoleum. That wasn't metal against linoleum, That what I just heard. What is she doing? She returns triumphantly. She smirks at me, or to be more accurate, the, at the dumb gawking face I'm making. Blocked the door. With what? An industrial range? She gives me a, this self-satisfied smirk, then paces in front of the door and the windows like a sentry. Oh my god, who needs magic? She could snap the knocked guy in half with her hands. Right? I love her. If I was not dating adorable poetry boy, I would be dating her. Hayes is back with bandages and a bag of ice. Gingerly, he removes my shoe and rolls up my pant leg to get a better look at my ankle. I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes. Maybe they're cute socks. I, I wear cute socks. Oof, my ankle doesn't look great, but it could be a lot worse. I think it, I don't think it's sprained, just twisted. You just need rest. Slowly, neatly, he wraps my ankle with one of the stretchy bandages. Then he pins it in place. It's like a pro's work. A professional ankle wrapper? Do you know a lot of first aid, Hayes? You're way calmer than I expected. Uh, I studied in scouts. Injuries and things don't bother me, never have. Not everything makes me feel anxious. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly, but averts his gaze to the ground towards the ice pack. He props my foot on one of the big fluffy ottomans, then places the ice on my ankle. Oh my god, it does feel good. Just keep it elevated and rest a little. And take the ice off in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. Uh-huh. I'm going to go make some coffee. I think everyone will need it. I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes I need this a little system shut down before I can think straight again. I think even the cats know that something's up because they all swarm me. I've got two on my lap and the others pile around me. It's soothing to hear them and feel their little paws stretch out to me. I hope it's helping them too. 
I hear a gentle clack of ceramic against ceramic. I prop one I pop one eye open. Hayes has set a cup and saucer in front of me. I think you've got a better idea, but here's a cappuccino if you need it. Just the way you like it. Is there an adorable heart in the foam? I'm gonna get spoiled by you sooner or later. I I'm just trying to be nice. You don't have to try very hard. You are. At what? Nice, of course. And cute. Oh, okay. You're pretty cute, too. Hmm. I'm so exhausted I could just rest my eyes for a minute. I feel the couch shift next to me and then Hayes is there. He puts his head on my shoulder. I don't bother opening my eyes. If I keep them closed, I'll forget all the other stuff. I shoot awake when I hear the door fly open. Is it knocked? Did he come right through the front door? Can witches come uninvited or is that vampires? It's Finley again. She bounces the door against her hip since her hands are full of cat carrier. The fussy lump inside is unmistakable. Wow, you are so whiny. Hold your hold on to your pants, baby. Mochi. Did you have any trouble? Is everything okay? It's fine, though I had to lure him into the carrier with treats and he hated every moment of being in there. <laughs> so, same as always. That's good. How about it? Should I unleash the beast? Mer. Yeah. Mochi, if you cause any trouble with the other cats, you're going right back in. Got it? Like he's... Like he's gonna choose now to start listening. Finley opens the carrier and he shoots out like a furry cannonball. Then he stands there, dumbstruck. He's got his own troubles now, playing nice with the cafe cats, but at least he's here. 